Hello, I'm Awful Stick, and welcome back to The Waystone, Season 3, Episode 32. I'm chilling with the Waystone Warrior. We're having a good time. The only problem is, he has been crystallized, so... Uh, it's kind of hard to talk to him <laughs> when he's trapped in glass. But, yeah, so let's go ahead and start off today's episode by going over to the Iron Shop to see if we've made any profits and also the post office box. I was just looking at new spawn to see what we have to work with in the future. I don't think I'm going to mess with it this episode because I feel like I bounce back and forth between spawn and my base and also the Witch Hut area. Which, the Witch Hut area hasn't been tinkered with for some time and last episode we got our fill of it. Anything in the post office box? No, unfortunately not. Let's check the Iron Shop and see where it's at. And then we'll, you know what, I'm going to stop at the sand stand. We've got to get rid of this and do a new, another shop. I've been sort of working with someone about a new shop. And, you know, we're just kind of waiting for that time to come. But let's go over this way. We're just going to fly down the mountainside. Oh, get through all of this brush. Next season, I think we're going to go with something a little bit easier than the jungle. As much as I love the jungle, we've done a lot of work getting everything sorted out for spawn. Oh, it's been a hassle. So let's go ahead and check this. I may have made some money. Who knows? No money at all, unfortunately. Well, we'll just put the blocks back up. And uh, I think stock is good. Yes, that double chest is full. As long as it's full, I'm not worried about it. Let's go ahead and get into something. I was flying around and couldn't help but to notice there's a new addition to spawn. Not only this, but check out this dock system over here in the background on the side of the island of spawn. This is incredible. This looks so good. This was built by Indecisive Nerd, and Llama Freak said he had a natural talent for docks. And of course, medieval builds I would throw in there too, because man, the guy knows how to build houses, he knows how to build docks and boats. That's just awesome. Look at that dragon head with the slabs. I wish I was that good. <laughs> I wish I knew your secrets, Indecisive Nerd. My god. You're one talented man. I absolutely love these little circles. Oh god, they're so cool. They're like gears or something. And he's got, you know, a walkway going into like his medieval area. Well, it'll eventually connect up to this bridge, I believe. There's like a bridge that runs into his town. And there's a recent addition for the Nerdians. They have done a new shop, a wood shop, which is very enticing. I'll be over here a lot, likely, because it seems like I'm always needing wood. But they've got it all lined up. They've got the chest in place. So if we ever need wood, we know where to come. So this episode, I want to focus on getting the small things done. It seems like I'm always putting stuff off and I just don't have the time to get around to them. So I'm going to dedicate a whole episode to them. Right now, we're working on my nether tunnel, my personal nether tunnel in the nether hub. Let's go ahead. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Let's go ahead and block that up. Ooh, that was close. Usually that would get me, especially if I'm like running through a tunnel and mining at the same time. Oh, that's when it really gets me. But thankfully, you know, we've invested in fire protection too, so let's go ahead and take these out. I'm going to extend this tunnel a bit, compensate with size because this portal is somewhat small. I've got all the build materials I need in this shulker box. As for the portal design, I decided to stick with the hive conceptualization. I've used the hexagon shape in the floor, and we're going to be filling this glowstone or lava, some type of lighting source to make this tunnel very bright. And in stone, who would have guessed, right? This is something totally different than what we have used in our palette in the hive, but it really does remind you of the texture that you would find in a beehive. Kind of sticky, gooey looking, very cool. Kind of like a cave in a way, but it's going to look a lot cooler once we get it done because we bring in the floor up to about right there and it's going to be glass so that we can look down underneath. And then we've still got the ceiling and stuff to work out, which I may extend this upwards because it is inevitably down We're here underneath the glass once that is implemented. It'll look cool. The greatest thing about this is I could just go through the portal and gather my building materials. I don't have to march halfway across the world just to gather those. But yes, every season it seems like I have to do a waffle stick face behind my nether portal. And I had to do it for this season. It's like a tradition of mine. <laughs> I love it. It's That one actually looks really cool. It's kind of like an optical illusion a bit. And we've done support beams going across the tunnel itself just to give it more structure. I just cleared my inventory out because I want to do some more decorations on the roof. Maybe different than what I have now but still mix in some yellow, and I need to fix this. It's a bit flat, but sponges, yes. I found some sponges in my base. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use that in a decoration because it would look so good with stone. I don't use them very often anyways, and I need to gather another batch from an ocean monument soon. I didn't really gather any before. I think I have found them at like Thunder Gaming's base. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Thunder Gaming. Um, but yeah, you know, it's all pretty much glued together. Just gotta get the top half and then we'll start really seeing some results. I want to do leafs, I think. Maybe some leaf blocks would be really cool in this design. Have those hanging down. Oh, that sounds cool because we're going to be going into a savanna anyways. Hey, that could be an idea. About two days have passed since that previous clip, and I've gotten a lot done in the nether. I mean, I've got these oak stairs, I've got the sandstone slabs in place, all the way up to the end tunnel. Thankfully, Llama needed some help deforesting an area, and I claimed a bunch of oak wood from it, so I just used it for stairs. And I have completed the personal portal decoration. This looks cool. <laughs> it's a little bit flat, I'm not gonna lie, but it's still appropriate. I think it looks really good. And then going inside, oh, doesn't this look nice? Man, it had really come out well. I didn't expect it to shape up as well as it did because, I don't know, I was struggling with blocks to use for the top up here. So, you know, like these. And I ultimately decided, yeah, we'll just stick with the same color scheme, maybe a little bit brighter to differentiate from the bottom. But it's all in place and done. Oh, I don't have to look this ever again saying, hey, I need to do that. <laughs> and, you know, if I ever do a gold farm or something, I need to break above the bedrock. I'm just going to go behind this glass and do some secret entrance work or something. thought that'd be cool, you know, right where my portal is. So everything's very close. Okay, we're off to next. I think the office at the Meat Tower would be another good project to start on. A while ago, I had claimed this top floor of the Meat Tower for my personal office, yes. And we need to decorate this. It's been sitting here forever, just waiting to be filled in. And we've got a jukebox we got to keep in here with a shulker box filled with discs. Let's see how this sounds. Ooh, my favorite one, C418 Cat. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, so, hmm, this is off center. No, it's like a two wide block. Okay, I see, then the stair goes this way. Okay, that makes sense. So, what kind of decorations could we do for an office? Lighting isn't really an issue, but we could still do lamps and redstone or even do more house decorations. I think the per perfect person to get inspiration from is Lifter. He seems to do a lot of interior decor with like desks and modern things. Lifter's starter home didn't have any decorations, but this one does, and it's given me a lot of ideas already. We're in the Christmas builds area, this is his Christmas residence, and he has like the little cabinets with the snow layers on those. Hey, that's really smart. I want to use that, because I wouldn't even thought of it. Might use a different block though, birch. I don't think would fit into my design much. Might go with more of a gray, make it look more industrial. It's even got a television set here with a sofa. <laughs> Oh, a meeting desk. Yes, we need that for sure. That's going to be a big one. I wanted to definitely transfer that. He's also used carpet around that for like little padding. That's cool. I really like that idea. Anything up here? No. Just a chimney and an empty attic. Okay, so those are awesome to get inspiration from. And the bookshelves. Oh, yeah, we've got a villager trader now. We don't even have to craft those up. We can just go buy some. Man, this is all falling into place. It seems every time you get into the project, you start getting new ideas, and I want to do a map of Spawn. I don't know how much this is going to cover. Hopefully the main island, who knows? But I do have villagers now, so we could buy maps too. <laughs> it's crazy what you can get from villagers. And I'm keeping it sleek, keeping it simple. It does look like an office setting. We've got like a little lamp here, even though the shulker, the in rods, they stay active. It doesn't really matter. It's just more of a decoration. And a glass desk, you know, something different than the average just solid desk. Here's like a meeting desk, which I think I need to put another slab there just to keep things... Ooh, am I going to block a lot of light? No, I think it'll be fine. Just that edge needs to be fixed up. And I don't have... Let me just move this right there. There we go. Ooh, looks much better. I think maybe more paintings and something to do with the windows. It'd be really cool if we could do binoculars. I don't know how you would do that. <laughs> Note to self, always bring extra empty maps when trying to make a larger map. Yes, I think this is the last one we need. We just gotta head back over to the Me Tower. I have kept things organized, you know, doing like three maps at a time, so I can keep track of where I need to place them on the item frames. Uh, let's see, I think this will complete the original spawn, but unfortunately we will not be getting a new spawn onto this map. 
Using fly duration one rockets. Oh my god, it drives me insane. I'm so spooled, man. Okay, so last one. Yes, that is original spawn. There's like a little island I remember seeing. No one has built on that, oddly. Ooh, isn't this looking fancy? All kinds of stuff. You can even see the trails. Is my sand stand on there anywhere? There's my sand stand. Uh, there is my iron shop. And it looks like a shield. Lifter's home, the cathedral, middle spawn, the waystone logo. With the bridge that heads to Emrouse's area and the docks that we were reviewing earlier. Wow. I feel kind of creepy. feel like I'm spying on the waystone. And with that, I think we're done. Yes, we've got it all in place. How to get the 50% off boots in there. You know, couldn't forget about that. And so, you know, I've kept it very simple on this side. So it's like a viewing area for the new spawn and, you know, kept everything else pretty modest. I wanted to keep it, you know, somewhat realistic. Although I am a lot of fun, I'm very business-like too. So <laughs> it matches me well and, you know, done some kind of decoration with the redstone or nothing fancy about that, but it's cool. You know, it's different. I'm, I'm almost tempted to move this painting to right there. But here's like a little dance floor area. If we need to escape from the office, we've got a dance floor now. <laughs> uh, oh, we cannot open this though. That's fine. You know, as long as we've got one music disc, I think we're good. <laughs> yes, let's dance a little bit. <laughs> um, and then, you know, like an extension of some storage, you know, just to fill in. And the cabinets that we've got from Lifter, all finished. But away, we can put this project down and, you know, if we need to do any business meetings, it's available to us. Oh, not go down here. There we go. All right. I think I have time for one more project to finish up and we can call it an episode. Somehow, this slipped my mind. The cave extending from the Waystone Warrior to spawn. Yeah, we've got to get that done. It shouldn't take too much. I don't know where it's going to come out at, though. Be a good area for that. Let's fly over here. I wonder how long that cave's going to be. I mean, it's not going to be too bad. That's Crafty Scott's area. We just needed to come out into either right here or behind the hill. Oh, right here would be fantastic if we can just get it to meet there. Let me get the cords, get this all set up. This cave extension seems a bit longer than what I had imagined. I thought it was going to be shorter, like a shortcut. But uh, yeah, it's still rather long. I mean, you know, we've got to walk all the way through here. I mean, for someone on foot, compared to Elytra, this would be much faster and a smaller distance. But, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I could just shorten it a bit? No, there's no possible way. way. I, don't, I think it's pretty much a straight shot. I mean, there's a little curve there, but it's not going to be making that much of a difference. So, let me go ahead and gather some materials. I guess get some clothes stone and gray carpet. I've got all the stone I need for the rest of it. I'm going to pretend this is my tunnel. <laughs> I came over here and totally wrecked this tunnel's entrance with a creeper. I'm sorry for whoever's building this. I don't want to give any spoilers, but I was just trying to take some inspiration for maybe some color in the future. But right now, you know, we've got the necessities in place for the tunnel. I'm just going to head back over here, which it begins right there at the staircase. So you could split off to the Waystone Warrior if you're heading a different direction. So going this way... Ooh, we've even got that speed. We can go through here fast. If someone could pick up speed, you know, from a beacon. You know what? We could probably do a beacon over here so that people could just go through the tunnel fast. Yeah, and here we are at the Wasteland Warrior. But I will warn you, oh boy, there's mobs everywhere. Like, seriously, three creepers. I mean, two skeletons. I was going to check on one thing at New Spawn to see if it has been implemented yet or not. Oh, there's a torchlight. Not a creeper dynamic lighting. Okay, so that's blocked off. So I was going to see if there was anything built there. Okay, well, that pretty much finishes all the projects I wanted to do this episode. You know, things that I need to get out of the way. I want to see if there's anything else we need to look into before we finish up the episode. You know, I just can't quite put my finger on it, but something's out of place. Uh, glowstone is broke. Oh, did that fix it? Wait, what? I've never seen glowstone do this. Nothing's blocking it. Okay, that's really, that's very strange. That's very strange. Only on the waystone, right? So, yes, I've come to the end of the episode and I've realized that I haven't divulged my plans in a long time. And I still have got plans for my base. I want to do more structures outside. 
rather than doing the cells because you know this is a rather big base but vertically not necessarily horizontally and on the outside i mean it's it's rather big but you don't really see that from the outside it doesn't feel grand and that's what i want to dip into a bit making things look more impressive because uh, that looks cool but it's just not got that like wow factor to it i was thinking about creating a different kind of biome going around the hive itself but that's going to be a lot of work and you know i don't know something that would look awesome we would have to come up with a cool color palette do some more structures on the outside, might do more farms, doing more cells above, but floating in the air somehow. And also the trading system needs to be fixed as well. I mean, we've got a bunch of mobs just marching underneath the breeder, you know, underneath the villagers that are stuck in the system itself. It's really just a big hassle when I fall down underneath and, you know, creepers are blowing up, zombies are trying to eat my brains. Oh, it really gets on my nerves sometimes. And one more thing I need to point out before we end today's episode, and I do apologize for it being sort of a filler episode. In short, I just wanted to get back on schedule. It seems like last episode threw me off, and I wanted to get one more episode out before the weekend was up. So I had ultimately decided to do smaller things and push one out. You know, this is what we need to fix. Oh, it drives me insane. It looks so ugly. What was I thinking when I made this tunnel? <laughs> Oh, man. And, of course, the slime farm needs to be fixed. You know, not only building, but automation process. You know, I think it might be fixed. I think it might be good. That slime just seen the iron golem and started pushing for the cactus. Might be okay. So we need to do decorations for this. A window panel, you know, fix the automation process of this. This is working just fine. I don't need to string a lot, so I'm not really down here much. Maintenance hatch for the redstone. Yeah. So, I guess I could end off the, today's episode there. Not really much to look at anymore. But, I think that's going to be about it for this episode, guys. Hope you enjoy watching. We'll see you next episode, and we should be back on schedule.